we see a tremendous interest in adoption of cloud-first WANs. Hi, I'm Shashi Kiran with Aryaka Networks, and I'm here to share a few thoughts with you about SD-WAN and SASE architectures. To do this, I thought it might be best to relay some of the conversations we've had with our global customers as well as partners. Interestingly, when we contrast these conversations with the ones we had with them a year or so ago, we see a few trends that were projected as three to five years out have been pulled in, and a few that we thought were fairly imminent have been pushed out. These are the realities that CIOs are grappling with today as they engage in planning exercises for post-pandemic deployments. And so there are a few thoughts that surface to be top of mind for them. Number one, can they help their companies navigate change more gracefully with minimal disruption? Number two, can they help their organizations be more nimble, responsive, agile, and thereby more competitive? Number three, they are being tasked to continually lower the total cost of ownership while keeping efficiency intact. So with these business tenets in mind, if you were to choose the next generation SD-WAN or SASE architecture, what are the attributes you should be considering? To help you with this, I would like to share some of the things we see as a pattern coming in from customers towards Arika. Number one, we see a tremendous interest in adoption of cloud-first WANs. When I talk about cloud first, it isn't necessarily public cloud only, but rather consumption-based models, as a service delivery mechanism, simplicity, ease of use, as well as that overall end-to-end -end experience baked in. And as enterprises move towards such architectures, they're also moving away from static rigid models such as with MPLS. Number two, we are seeing the blurring of boundaries happen between the traditional office environment and the home worker, which means the architecture should be flexible enough to support hybrid workplaces where an employer or a user can access any application from any location. Number three, when we talk about applications, the ability to have very predictable application performance is extremely important to empower employee productivity. For this reason, the network needs to have built-in WAN optimization. It also needs to step up to provide end-to-end -end SLAs, regardless of the first mile, last mile, bid mile, or a multi-cloud deployment. Fourth, we're seeing the convergence of network and network security happen. Enterprises are expecting this convergence to drive operational simplicity and potentially lower costs. The expectation also is that there is a centralized policy model that could be applied to either sites or users, regardless of whether the application is on-premises or resident in the cloud. Number five, CIOs are shying away from complexity. They don't want to stack boxes and they really don't want non-scalable do-it-yourself approaches either. And so there is a rapid shift that is happening towards managed offerings. In this context, we see managed SD-WAN as well as potentially managed SASE having higher growth rates in the coming years. I hope some of these insights are useful to you as you engage in your own research and good luck with the planning efforts for your next generation infrastructure. On behalf of Aryaka, thank you for watching.